Today marks 10 years since meeting my wife. I had agreed to go to prayer together in the morning. But her peaceful sleeping face made it hard to wake her up. I went to the altar alone. The altar, which had always been neat, was now in ruins. It seemed to have been attacked by fierce beasts. It didn't feel like a place where I should be praying. So I picked some of my wife's favorite flowers and returned home. Gently wake her up. Sorry, did I fall asleep again? Oh, don't worry. Should have gone together for the blessing. Look what I brought you. Oh, what beautiful flowers. I've been dreaming about you and thought of some baby names. Shall we decide together? Of course, let's do it. Well, I thought of it. Our da The daughter's name will be... Rose. Uh, her name is Rose. That's a pretty name, isn't it? With O. Uh, daughter's birthday. Uh, well, it looks like it's summertime now, right? Well, let's say she's an April baby. Uh, born on the... Tenth. She'll be born in the breezy spring. The tenth. Father's name is Wood. I guess we'll roll with it. Father's birthday is January 21st. Finally, I'm looking forward to the future of Rose and you. It's been decided. Then, together with Rose, live a happy ever after. Good morning, Luca. What happened five years ago? I dreamed of it again. Rose turns five soon. I like to think that I've taken good care of her. I remember that you used to compliment me on even the smallest things. When I grow old, will you praise me from heaven for how I've raised Rose? Will you say that I did everything that I could? To make that happen, I will be a good father again this year. I won't let you down. What kind of father will you be? Why not give yourself a cool identity? It's you, Lee. It's better for Rose if you make up your mind sooner rather than later. Trust me. Well, what kind of father should I be? The father who makes the daughter feel safe. The father who makes his daughter proud. The father who dotes on his daughter. I guess it makes her feel safe. I don't know. Good, about time you decided. Make a promise to your daughter and do everything you can to keep it. Hey, daughter. Rose seems flustered. Papa, Ah, Papa, good morning. Rose, what's up? Rose doesn't know. A little secret at the age of five. How intriguing. Uh, here. Regarding Rose's secret under the bed, would. His face is the same. I thought maybe his face would have a different thing. Okay, Father's Example event. Every warrior has their unique treasure trust. Wow, will Rose become a powerful warrior one day too? Alrighty, it's the morning now. Rose will do some morning exercise. 
Interactions with the scene can improve attributes. Different options consume different levels of stamina. Okay, one thing that's throwing me off <laughs> is the font changes. They have like a kajillion different fonts for the menu. I don't know what's up with that, but that's okay. We're okay. We're all right. Oh. <laughs> Rose isn't afraid of anything. Uh, click empty space to close. Morning exercises. Rose is in good spirits now. Uh, uh, that. Uh, praise Rose. Hey. Oh. All right. Oh, it. Plan. Five classes are available per turn. Each course has a recommended optimal attribute. The more Rosa's base attribute matches. Okay. Uh, cute prepared a bunch of stories for rose what kind of story will you tell rose today uh beware the plague mouse little yellow duck loves its mother let's do that one read to her little yellow duck loves its mother uh rose's attributes change charisma one emotion plus 20 i'm gonna guess rose she's listening with great interest Rose didn't concentrate in sportsmanship practice today, but snuck out to play in the afternoon. Rose feels she's getting the hang of the rhythm of warding gestures. After all kinds of things, the week is over. Rose isn't being lazy, she's totally serious. Hey Wood, how's it going? I rushed the whole way over to tell you. Today, everything at the family restaurant is free. Asbo is treating everyone. Get your baby girl there. Eat well. Sounds great. Hurry, go tell Rose the good news. My love, you have been there for me all along, right? Don't worry, I will take care. Rose's favorite, white flowers. A uh, volcano sun, January 1st, spring fire. Coral Book is a virtuous knight. He can ensure everyone gets better land, and I'll choose him to be the manager around here. A commoner from Wild Horse Lake said, everyone will get farmland. Return of Hero, Asbo. It has been many years since the war between humans and demons, but we'll never forget the hero to all. Hero Asbo. Uh, I like to go to the family restaurant. Their foods are quite nice, he said peacefully. There's a new bard at the family restaurant. He tells all kinds of stories. I'll always bring my kids with me, and we can spend all day here. A regular at the restaurant said. Who was that, Papa? Ned asked if we wanted to go to the family restaurant for dinner. Rose wants to go. Gonna go. Gonna go. We can see Lila. Okay, we'll go whenever you're ready. Rose can travel to different locations of volcano country using the map. The number of locations that can be visited will increase as time goes on. Uh, property of the Hando family, this restaurant is famous for its rare and fresh ingredients. The chefs used to be adventurous, so they are good at handling uncommon ingredients. Dining in the restaurant can restore Rose's stamina and mood. Each dish can be ordered once per turn. Uh, package. Picked up some kelp. <laughs> Feeling very refreshed after eating. 
me. Dalian's diced carrot. Okay. Don't eat any more. Rose, chuck it in your mouth. As usual, be selling food that restores energy and mood. Lazy soldier. Mr. Worry is the most amazing person I've ever met. I really want to be like him. But then, if you think about it, I will never be as good as him. Might as well not try at all. Or there's some interesting... Let's see, people should try their best. Uh, Asbel put a lot more effort into training than you could imagine. Only someone who had given their all could understand his achievements. Mm. Oh, wow, he sounds up so amazing. These limbs of magical creatures are so beautiful. Look at all the places... Uh, look, all of these places are related to octopus ancestors. Help the scholar returning the limbs. Uh, thank you for helping out. It's not the easiest task to do by yourself, especially when you're hanging them up. I want to help out too. See that pile of magical creatures' limbs? They're just chunks of meat. The unknown is scary, but courage will teach you that magical creatures aren't so scary after all. Hi. Want to listen to something? Trust me, stories are better than food. Alright. Uh, we'll listen to some. Listening to a story. Well, even in the end, the protagonist and the hero uh, did not get together. Pretty sad. Big words for a five-year-old. At night. With the warrior here, not just the knights, the king is happy too. Magical beasts are running wild lately. I can finally relax for a bit. I think we're done here. Uh, let's go home. <laughs> Papa, look at my royal palace. Short game. <laughs> Did you cheat, Papa? You found me so quickly. Is in dreams? I dreamed that I was playing at the lake with my Papa. There was a large green pasture. Exploring spirit. Rose remembered the time practicing with Papa during the training today, and her moves became more smooth. The professor was quite happy with Rose's performance at swordsmanship practice today. That's rare. Wood prepared a bunch of stories for Rose. What kind of story will you tell Rose today? The Golden Spoon of Honesty, the Volcano Princess. Let's... I read to her the Volcano Princess. Rose, baby sleep, gently sleep. Life is long and love is deep. I don't know why there's an exclamation mark right there. Rose didn't concentrate at swordsmanship practice today. It snuck out to play in the afternoon. After all kinds of things, the week is over. Rose isn't being lazy. Totally serious. I'm a bit... Okay, so I will admit, thank you for joining me, by the way. We just rolled right into it. Um, I am playing this kind of blind. Uh, uh, so I'm a little, like, I don't know. I don't know what to think quite yet. The sky has a strange glow. Just looking at it makes me happy. I should call Rose to have a look. Uh, as more fields have been reclaimed, people discover the beauty of Wild Horse Lake. More and more painters and paddlers carrying tourists have gathered here. While paddling at the Wild Horse. Missing searching for Prince Kenneth. Just a baby. Prince Kenneth has been missing for a month and the Royal Palace hasn't given up. 
If any citizen has any clues, please get in touch with Head Knight Ned. Rumors say Landlord Hand seems to have a few lovers, even an illegitimate daughter. But both the landlord and his wife claim this is not true. This is, uh, this is Rose given to me with a cute little bird drawn on it. Uh, I'm gonna, I think it means Rose gave that to him. She drew him an adorable little bird. Right. Oh, see our daughter. Did Papa sleep well? Uh... Real quick. Hey. I, I like this picture I drew. Basilo. Hi. Basilo. Uh, the scenery today is the same as yesterday. The scenery yesterday was the same as the day before. <laughs> shall I show you around? Uh, shall I show you around, my old friend? <laughs> The sky is a bit cloudy today. You can catch a lot of rare fish in this kind of humid weather, you know. Farmer's wife. Good afternoon, Miss Rose and Mr. Wood. Thanks to Mr. Warrior and the Knights, the Kingdom of Volcano has been recovered after the raid of Magical Beasts eight years ago. But the influx of refugees back then, our food reserves and land distribution are still problematic. What do Mr. Wood think of the refugees? We should help each other out. Has anyone ever told Mr. Wood that you are a nice guy? You always think of others. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Nods in agreement. As Rose's cooking level increases, there will be a higher probability of getting double dishes and unlocking more recipes. Cooked food can be used to improve stamina, mood, and various attributes. Dishes can also be given to villagers as gifts. We'll hold off on that for a second. She's sleeping. Ah, I'm awake! What on earth is that inquisitive creature beside you? Perception. Uh, we can farm. Uh, wheat seed. Carrot seed. Farm. Do you want, do you want to sow any seeds? Unable to change in a month. Please don't. Uh, yeah, have a quiet view of Wild Horse Lake to y yourself is definitely something special. Water. Oh, that ate some action points. Alright. Check your identity targets. Prove your daughter's evaluation of her father by talking with people in town and making smart choices. Different father goals will affect the scoring criteria. If you do well, you'll be rewarded at the Birdie Festival in June. Uh, finish three courses with daughter. Eat at a restaurant three times. Talking with townspeople. Target the father who makes his daughter feel safe, intelligent. And... No, Papa is kind of lame. All right, Papa is kind and Papa is intelligent. All right. Go to the map. The family restaurant. Uh, staple food. I thought it said sample boot food before. Add. Purchase some wheat. And family package. Children's book. Uh -huh. Welcome to the family restaurant. Spring, spring is the season of vitality. Cold seaweed. Mm. An actress. I heard Asbel turned down the offer from the royals and insisted on killing those magical beasts by himself. If not for fame nor the money, why is he obsessed? The satisfaction for pursuing power or he has promised to keep. Why is Asbel so persistent on killing the magical? Uh, he has a promise to keep. <laughs> Papa is like a child. I, 
Papa's like a child. Is that a compliment or not? <laughs> I don't think he'll keep his promise. If you're free, come to the theater and watch my performance. People think I'm putting myself in danger by killing magical creatures, but I enjoy it. Hmm? Story? Uh, yes, sure. Tell us a story. Mm. Five years ago, several experienced hunters went to the Forgotten Forest to hunt. They wandered deeper and deeper and stayed in the valley for seven days. The night of the seventh day happened to be a full moon, and the hunters set up a bonfire and fell asleep. But it wasn't long before they were awakened by voices from the forest. At first, the hunters thought it was just an animal passing by, and then they heard a sound. A laugh, a sharp and piercing, miserable, joyous. Suddenly the laughter turned into screams. The screams of women and the cries of babies came from the dark forest. Immediately after the crying stopped, there were bursts of sounds, like volcanic rocks smashing into the ground, mixed with the sound of heavy footsteps approaching the hunters step by step. The hunters started to yell, waving hunting knives and long bows frantically, shooting arrows into the forest. But there was no echo. It, it wasn't until the full moon was covered by clouds that the voices gradually subsided. The hunters stayed up all night and hurried out of the valley at sunrise. They walked to the mouth of the valley and found that the ground was covered with obsidian, a black streak across the valley, like a long black chain with no end in sight. Someone was greedy. He wanted to pick up some obsidian and take it back with him. But when he picked it up, the stone instantly turned into hot white ash in his hand, melting his skin. Huh? What happened next? <laughs> oh, Rose doesn't look scared at all. It's rare to see a child like yourself. Hmm. Later, those hunters escaped and told everyone about it. As for whether it is true or not, only the goddess knows. Uh. Oh, I love the story. Thanks, mister. Rose's mood increased by plus ten. Uh, toy blocks? <laughs> Papa, look at my royal palace. Seek. Uh. I made a noise when I ran away. I want to try again. We'll do a short game. <laughs> I won, Papa. I'm invisible. Chat. Uh. Recent dreams. She's happy. I rose. Uh, bed. Uh -huh. Rose loves to sleep and loves to go out. Alright. Plan. Oh. Oh my goodness, Rose. You've got a lot going on. Um... Ate at the restaurant three times. Finished three courses with daughter. Alright, so let's plan. Two... Two... Complete courses, healthy morning exercise. Rose feels that she's getting the hang of the rhythm of wording gestures. Okay. Wood prepared a bunch of stories for Rose. What kind of story will you tell Rose today? The, the golden spoon of honesty? Uh, during the group combat, Rose tried out the techniques she learned in class. 
Rose was happy with her studying result today. After all kinds of things, the week is over. Oh, no, no, that way. Did Papa sleep well? Go to the map. Let's go here. Boat ride. <laughs> Rose loves rowing boats. The water. There we go. A black cat? A strange black cat. Hey, bring me a fish. Ah, uh, wood. Oh, Miss Rose sure has grown a lot. Hey, hey. Inches. Oh. Sir, your daughter looks very talented with a sharp and powerful punch. Will you let her become a knight? There are many paths in life. I'll support anything she does. Nice of you to be so open-minded. My parents hated me. That's why I ended up in such a place. Child. I'll live here a little longer. The boy is from the Duman family. He stays here often, but his parents always take him back. Uh, you're strong. Strong enough to be a knight. That's right. That's my goal. Successfully solve the issue and gain 50 reputation. Hmm. Did we just make him become a knight? Is that what we did? I'm confused. Alright, let's go to the map. Let's go to the restaurant. <laughs> Staple food. Uh, we're gonna have wild berry roast pork and sizzling grilled fish. <laughs> Next. Looks like it's cold seaweed. Ah. And. Getting some fish. A vagabond. I'm not here for food. I just want to see Lila. Those rumors of her and Mr. Han, I don't care about it at all. Sir, do you think I should. Go and ask her out. Do you really know her? Every time when I'm here, I always watch her from afar, but that probably will scare her if I say it out loud. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Mm hmm. Vexing. Got a rider. You guys look up to Warrior Esbel as well. I'm writing a novel for him. It would be great if it could be a big hit. Can you give me some advice? Write about the warrior's intelligence? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nodding in agreement. <laughs> oh, the smartest are the most popular, right? Mm, no. Some things must be understood with time. Mm. The logic in the story is important, but too much pursuit of logical perfection may lose the fun of it all. It looks like we're done there. Uh, real quick, let's go back to here. Uh, bag. We got a dice carrot. Oh, I need two fish. Got that. All right. Back home. Box. <laughs> I 
made a noise when I ran away. I want to try again. <laughs> I won! Alright, let's chat. Uh, share secret. Huh? Papa must have wanted me to say it first. Rose attempted a uh, more difficult swordmanship today, and it succeeded. The professor complimented her for it. Rose finally understood the key points in swordmanship theory. What kind of story will we tell Rose today? That little tadpole is missing? Rose is a little bit hungry today and lacked the energy to practice imagination. Uh, Rose has no interest in swordmanship theory, just wants to go out there and practice. There seems to be a letter from a child. It seems that because Rose helped him, he wrote a letter to thank her. Rose is a good kid. I'm so proud. The Wire family is our renowned music family. The eldest daughter has now returned from the Harris Kingdom. She openly announced she has uh, learned a lot of advanced business knowledge and consider commercializing her family's music. Miss Rachel of the Wires has returned. Um, let's see. In the Volcano Kingdom, the Birdies Festival has a special place in children's hearts. They can play games and spend time with their family. Let us all welcome this heartwarming festival. Judge Colin of the Rick family has recently discovered a flower with a nerve-calming ability. He calls it the Volcano Snow. This is what I found in the snowy mountains. It's perfectly healed my wife's disease. Judge Colin said while smiling. White flowers to calm the nerves. Hello! Good morning! We got a puppy. Bark, bark. Look, Papa, a poor a puppy. Poor thing. It's all dirty. Save the puppy. Bark, bark. Wow. The puppy's clean now. Boat ride. <laughs> Rose loves rowing boats. Sketch. They sketched a dog. <laughs> Sentimental soldier. If I were an aristocrat, I would have been with her. The love of the poor isn't worth much. I'll prove myself as a knight and make them recognize me. Your love is priceless. Are you comforting me? Oh, of course. My love is unrivaled. Nobody else can compare. She rested. Go to a family restaurant. Get the food. Looks like we're having wild berry roast pork and sizzling grilled fish. Grab some sweet. <laughs> mm. uh, did you know there's a mathematics contest on the Birdie Festival next month? Hmm. Of course you don't. Mm. Of course I know. I won a medal before. 
I don't believe it. Why don't we bet on it? To see who will come first in the birdie festival contest. Uh -huh. The bet is on. Papa supports you. <laughs> ah, it's you guys again. You have such a lovely daughter at such a young age. I'm envious. Even if I conquered those magical creatures, there's no life for me to share it with. What a lonely life. That's enough about me. What about your daughter? Do you have any expectations for her future? Nope. Oh my goodness. I hope she can be kind. Uh -huh. Kindness is to ignore others' slander and remember their grace. Huh? Isn't the story of the Owl Princess over yet? Oh, she must not have liked that story very much. <laughs> is that... Uh... Next month is the kids' favorite birdie festival. Ready for it, Rose? I think we're going home. There are ten levels of basic attributes with each port. They enhanced resistance. Land a gift. We got one more. Uh -huh. Food gift sounds like a good one. Got some energy, so I guess we'll build blocks. <laughs> Made another royal palace. I think if we sleep, it's two. <laughs> One more time. What? Did you cheat, Papa? You found me so quickly. What? I didn't. Okay. Oh no. Oh, they're completed. That's what. Concentration. Three. Had no interest in swordmanship theory. What kind of story will we tell Rose? Sleeping star? I uh, was happy with her studying result today. Studying with the bears! Uh, a little hungry, so had no imagination. Rose completed three courses this semester. I think she can do better next semester. Not too bad. If Rose carries on like this, she should be able to stand alone in the future. We are cute. Half a year has already gone by. Let me declare if you, the father who makes his daughter feel safe. Qualified or not. Sorry, it wasn't that great. Okay, Papa. Papa will always be Rose's favorite. We didn't make her feel safe. That's... Alright, oh. toy blocks. We can't travel. We don't have a... Rose. <laughs> oh, are we going to the Birdie Festival? Yes. Birdie Festival is a celebration of children. It was originally established to thank the birds for always being with the goddess. All parents with carefully, will carefully prepare a gift for their beloved children. For Rose, this is a festival only for her. 
Papa, what gifts did Papa prepare? Instructions for gift. Every gift you prepared for the gift exchange event will become a gift ticket handed to Rose. If you prepared one gift, then Rose will have one chance to draw a gift in the gift exchange event. If you spend more money to prepare more gifts, Rose will have more chances to draw the gift. Prepare three gifts for daughter. Let's go, Rose. The plaza should be lively today. The streets are filled with laughter of parents and children and all sorts of activities. Uh, Rose, why not go? The first life in the world was born in a volcano, and that was the volcano goddess. Huh? Can't believe that even Bishop Clear uh, is here. Since the first life was born, there has been a colorful life from one to affinity. Volcano goddess controls the time of everything in the world. It conceived the vein of exquisite life in continuously infused time, gradually making the world full of flowers and laughter and full of the breath of life. The goddess is amazing, isn't she? Ah, oh, it's rare for Rose to be so serious. Uh -huh. oh, Papa. Parent-child mathematics contest. Do you want to participate in this, Rose? Uh -huh. Yeah. But if you can't participate, if you don't know how to do math, messing with you. It's a parent-child activity. We'll do it together. Next time you have to learn maths for yourself. Promise? Oh! Yeah, I promise. She, she I'll give Papa. Papa a kiss. Alright, alright. We'll walk around first and come back to it. Oh, what a little baby. You were younger than this when you were born. I sure in the heck hope so. <laughs> Father and daughter. Dad, what gift have you prepared for me? You'll know later. Oh, Listen carefully. There's a color and place in your bag. Pick a color and place. Um. We'll say blue. Blue on. gonna be blue <laughs> all right we're broke <laughs> uh the air is full of children's laughter which make people feel better play again i want to replay your request is invalid I just clicked off screen. Great. Back. Correctly answer as many maths questions as possible. Are you ready? Don't worry, Papa is by your side. Uh. Of course, we'll go for the most difficult one. Here you go, smart little girl. Hey. 
Now you can go to the prize draw. Let's go. Uh -huh. Oh, Papa. Each prize has a unique number. Please select the corresponding number to open it. Normal gift from Richard. Gift from Claire. Helen. Quality gift from John. All your gift vouchers have been exchanged. Please take your gift. Are you happy with this gift? <laughs> yes, Rose is more than happy. Did you have fun today? So much fun. Papa, look, a golden bird. Rose heard that golden birds bring happiness to anyone who sees them. Rose, that's just a legend. Papa gave me so many gifts today. I'm going to catch a golden bird for Papa, too. Wait, Rose, that's a forest. Rose, don't move. There's a cliff. With a golden bird, Papa and Rose will be even happier. You are finally awake. Thank goodness. I've been so worried. What about Rose? Is Rose safe? Don't worry, leave it to me. Everything will turn out fine. You just have to rest easy for now. I'll do my best. Everything will be fine. Happy summer. In the blink of an eye, Rose is already 12 years old. Time really does fly. Greetings, Wind. The country is now recruiting young knights. Uh, there's a lady named Rose in your house, right? You have a moment? This is an important matter. I must first consult my daughter. Your daughter, Mer your daughter has already submitted the Writer Academy enrollment form to us. I'm here to ask for your approval. Huh? This is indeed... Rose is obsessed with female knight uh, Lebza uh, lately. After she took the city by storm, I knew she would apply for it. So that's how it is. Since it was Rose's idea, I will certainly support her wishes. Uh, great, thank you very much for your and your daughter's support. Our nation is in need of young warriors right now. Better ask Rose. Alright, we've got the news. Olaf Theater has a long history in the Volcano Kingdom. Many renowned actors and actresses come from here. We believe even a beginner like yourself should come and try it out. Olaf Theater hiring actors. The three lords are hiring knights. The three lords of Volcano Kingdom, Princess Gwyneth of the Royal Family, Robeza of the Hand, and Claude of the Bryans, will start to hire apprentice knights at the end of this month and expect most candidates to come from St. Elmo's. Did they, like, use a name generator and just, like, plugged it in? It is such the randomest name. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the central plaza is now brand new after being reconstructed with new plants and flooring. We sincerely appreciate the Han family for their support. Pink <laughs> daughter. Oh, she has grown. Good morning, Papa. Yeah. Yikes. Does Papa already know? I was afraid that he would worry, so I did it in secret. But it turns out I couldn't hide it after all. But I know, 
But I know Papa will support my decision, right? Well, I guess so. <laughs> I'm a big girl now. I can't always rely on my Papa anymore. Besides, your old leg injury still isn't completely healed, so you should rest at home for a while. I'll be the one protecting you from now on. Alright, I'll do my best at home. Actually, I'm going to go adventuring. Let's go to the Forgotten Valley. It's someone's birthday. Whose birthday is it? It's someone's birthday? It's, it's yours, a happy birthday, Wood. Why is she calling him by his name? This is all for me? Thank you, everyone. This doll is for you, although it's not very good. Don't be modest, this is the best doll I've ever seen in the whole entire world. Thank you, Rose. And now it's all mine, my very own treasure. Well, as long as Papa likes it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. I don't know what to think about the game. Um, <laughs> it's early access, I believe. Uh, just released. It's it's pretty cute. I, I don't not like it. I just am a little confused by something. <laughs> anyway, thank you for keeping company. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the first hour of Volcano Princess. <laughs>